All right, we're back in the review. Today we're doing the new Tune It Up bundle and the Feel The Rhythm bundle. So these two bundles are like kind of backup dancers in a way, and they light up when you do emotes. They're all the exact same. There's nothing different about them except uh, the face model and the hair. Um, but you can change all the colors the same. You can change the white and the black like hoodie, and that's the same, and turn off the effects going on here the same. Um, so I'm only going to show off two skins. The skins I will be showing off here are going to be the Amplitude, the girl, and then the guy, I'm going to be showing the hi-hat for the guy. I'll, ta I'll say all the names, I guess. So this is the Tune It Up. These are all the girls. So the Melody, Melody Maver Maverick, the Band Pass, the Amplitude, like I just said, Harmonizer, the Pop Prodigy, and then you get a loading screen. But I don't think really that many people are going to care. The, in the feel the rhythm one, which is all the guys, you get the hi-hat, the one I'm going to show off, the syncopator, the syncopator, the synthopac, I don't know, the reverb, the altenolutor, okay, the synth striker, yeah, the, those are confusing names for me, and then the knock knock uh, loading screen. So, uh, yeah, nothing else to say, let's get in the review. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to only show off two, a guy and a girl, and yeah, let's do it. Alright gamers, before you continue watching this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check that description. Go follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and check out my Discord server and everything down below. Now back to the video. Alright, so here's the amplitude with the default pickaxe. Below. Swim. So all these skins are 1,200, I don't think I said that. And the bundle itself is 2,800 for both of them, the guys and the girls. You gotta buy the guys and the girls separate for the bundles. If you wanna buy all of them, which we'll talk about that at the end, but I'm gonna say do not buy the bundles. <laughs> so that's, that's for sure. Yes. So I have the like white one on. Does it shoot? Okay, no, I don't. It's only gonna do it for emotes then. Adius is good. It makes sense. It's kind of, you know, it's gonna decide on what one you pick. But Adius is pretty good. I don't know if the that's just me, but the ponytail of the bun is like weird. It's like bouncing up and down every time I shoot. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or the physics are kind of fucky. That's kind of weird. Yeah, look at that. The bun just like fucking spazzes out. It might be the skin. Like this one for some reason. It just spazzes out for some stupid reason. But that's weird as hell. Alright, let's do some shield. So we have the um, the black style here. And the white like color for the lights. Because I always like the color black and white together. It looks always really good to me. And then we'll show off the white one too after with something else. On the mail. All right, solo gliding. I always forget to change this. I will eventually do it. Do the best guard umbrella. Forward. Backwards. Left. Right. Not moving. All right, solo building. Ah, oh, that was pretty solid too. Alright. Um 
Yeah, I don't think. Oh, we can drop the how it affects. So every time you do an emote, I think every emote works. I don't know. We'll, we'll test it out. We have a couple here. Um, this is my alt account. So I don't have that many emotes, but we have a couple here. So we'll do alien. So that's how it kind of affects. This is the white color that I have on. You can turn this effect off too in this, uh, the style options. So if you don't like it, then there you go. But you know, what's the point of buying if you're not going to have this effect on when you do an email? Like really. It's all like Marshmallow where you do an email and it changes into Raise the Roof. This one's a little glitchy. I don't know why. It's Yeah, it's kind of like flickering. It's kind of weird. Dance off. It's supposed to hit on every like beat, I'm pretty sure. Beanbag. I don't think this has a beat, so. Yeah. <laughs> Mash. Conga. Let's see what else we have. Little saucer. That's kind of weird that it somewhat does it on that one. Clean sleep. Let's do like an actual emote. Um, this one. This one would be weird. Does it do it for this one? Barely. Yeah, so it does it for a good amount of emotes. Default. Um, I would say. Beanbag. Or the, the chair one. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, it does it for a good amount of emotes, I would say. Um, Rick Dance. Yeah, I would say. It does it for a good amount of emotes. I don't want to spend too much time doing that, but... Um, yeah, it should do it for mostly every emote in the game. So any, like, kind of sound effect that's going on, it should do it. Uh, if you're in the event, maybe it will even do it for, like, the music playing or something like that. So that's that would be kind of cool, but... Um, yeah, let's quickly switch over and I'll show off the mail. Let's do it. All right, so now we have the mail called the high hat with the default pickaxe and the white kind of style of the sweater. Pull up. Swing. All right. Nothing to really talk about because, you know, they're basically all the exact same. I'm just gonna kind of just show it off, so. You see what one male looks like and one female. Most people are probably gonna buy the female. It makes sense, you know. Most popular in the game. Because of two reasons. We're not gonna list any of the reasons, but for two particular reasons. Some ADS. Pretty good. I think my biggest problem with these skins is we just had the um what's it called the wrap skins that were only 1500 yeah they didn't come in a bundle but you could buy one for 1500 and you had almost endless possibilities you know if you had a lot of wraps some people might not have a lot of wraps so they would kind of be useless but if you had a good amount of wraps just from a couple battle passes or something then they were pretty valuable you know um and then a week later we get these that have you know, decent amount of styles, but no wear compared to like the superheroes or the rap skins we just got. So, you know, it's kind of a kind of a letdown to see these come out right after. And the other skin that's in the leaks right now that has a ton of customization that's about to come out also. And it isn't just like one of these superhero knockoff skins, you know what I mean? It's like a completely brand new skin. With a ton of customization, so. You know, I like that they're what they're trying to do, but these kind of, uh, you know, nothing crazy. I think they're fine for what they are, but, you know, I think there's better alternatives. Because for only a couple more V-Bucks, then you can buy the superheroes realistically. But we'll talk about that kind of at the end in Battle Labs. All right, let's do a little gliding. And yes, I just changed it. I just did it. So I should like launch us. Oh yeah, Jesus. All right, we have the best umbrella. Forward. Backwards. Left. Right. I'm moving. All right. Get another pull out. Let's do a little building. I need to recenter it though. It's kind of a little off.
All right, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's kind of pissing me off. I'm gonna put it like here. I think I'm, there might be a spawner there though. All right, let's quickly show off a couple emotes so you can see what it looks like. There's the alien. Um, this is the blue. It's very dim there. I don't know if that's just me. Look at that. This is the blue color. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. It was kind of like weird. I don't know. You just couldn't see it that well. Yeah, so it's for him, it's only on really his pants. Oh, no, it's up here somewhat. And on the back of his head. Okay. It's very like finicky. You know, some emotes look really good and then others look like this. You know what I mean? This one looks good. Somewhat. Mash. Mash looks good. Mash looks good. Conga? Eh, it's all right. Who box one? You know, some of them are finicky. That's why I don't really like these types of skins, you know, that are kind of gimmicky. That, like, have to react to music or something, because sometimes it just doesn't look good. It's kind of, like, all glitchy and buggy, any emote you do, realistically. Not a big fan of these types of emotes. Or these types of skins, realistically. Yeah, nothing crazy though. Um, so yeah, I guess there's really nothing else to say. Let's go into battle odds and I'll tell you, should you buy any of these dancer, backup dancer skins, the tune it up bundle or the uh, feel the rhythm bundle. Let's do it. All right, so we're in battle odds now. I'll tell you, should you buy any of these new backup dancers or whatever you wanna call them. So we have the tune it up bundle and we also have the feel the rhythm bundle. So in these bundles, you get the girls, the tune it up ones is the five girls and then for the Feel the rhythm one, it's the five guys. So should you buy any of these bundles? I would say no. If you want one of these skins, buy one and sit there. That's really about it. I don't think there's any purpose of buying any of these, only if you want to collect every skin in the game, realistically. Um, and I don't think that many people want to collect every skin in this game. You know, you got to be Jeff fucking Bezos if you want to collect everything in this game, because Epic just loves to release a million skins at once, you know? Um, don't get me wrong, I like Epic and all. These skins are pretty solid, you know? compared to what we got back in the day that were 2,000 V-Bucks, realistically. But, you know, nowadays, people realize what Epic is kind of doing with these skins. Um, and they're not, it's not a bad thing. I, you know, I'm not shitting on Epic in any, any way. I think the skin pricing has been very fair lately um, in, in some of these skins, 100% fair. We haven't really had any crazy legendary skins in a while. Uh, every skin back in Season 3, like, we would get, like, three, four a week, and they were all, like, legendary, and they would be 2,000 V-Bucks. And I bought a good amount of those, too. And that's like, tw that was $20 back then. So 1200 is not bad. You know, 12 bucks for one of these skins is not a bad deal. But comparing it to stuff we have nowadays, it's kind of fishy. Because we have the superheroes. We have the ones we just got, the rap skins. We have the soccer skins. You know, comparing it to that, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, realistically? Uh, no back bling, which you don't really need a back bling. The superheroes didn't get a back bling. The rap skins didn't get a back bling. They got a rap, though, so a little bonus there. Um, the soccer skins, they're 1,500, but they got a bunch of Edo styles. Um, the OG soccer skins, bunch of Edo styles, same price, no back bling. Um, and yeah, that, that's really about it. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of these but they're not bad and this one just always glitches out with the fucking bun like look at that every time i move it just sh fucking shatters around like i don't i don't know what it is uh but this one i don't know this is a, there's probably a glitch with it but um yeah so all the skins itself are 1200 every single one i'm not gonna name them again there's a fucking ton of them um and then we have the bundles like i said which are 2800 but you do get a bonus which is the loading screen but it's a loading screen it's a bonus that's what the loading screens are for i feel when you buy a bundle it's like oh you like this collab here you go here's a loading screen that's what i see or more like not collab but you know you know what i mean like you like this bundle here's a bonus because you like it or whatever or you bought the whole thing for some reason you know what i mean uh, i don't think any normal person that doesn't collect every skin in the game is going to buy one of these bundles realistically i highly doubt people are going to buy these bundles you know that are, just want a skin you know People are going to buy one, most likely a girl, and move on. Maybe buy two, a male and a female, and move on. You know, they're not going to buy every single one. So what I say, buy any of these? Uh, yeah, if you really actually like them and, you you know, you don't really like the superhero skins or you don't really like the rap skins from last week or you just didn't have that many raps, I think these are fine, you know, for what they are. I don't think they're anything spectacular, but I don't think they're horrible on any factor either. But comparing them to 100% the rap skins and the football skins, uh, well, you know, soccer for us um that you know what i mean they're not as high quality compared to those and less edit styles um but you know there's enough going on here to where i say it's a 
somewhat good purchase, but I would say maybe, you know, hold off, maybe wait if you really want to, but I don't think they're horrible in any case compared to some other skins in the game. But yeah, that's really about it for the my review on the Tune It Up bundle and the Feel the Rhythm bundle. The male and the female backup kind of dances, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Let's do the emote for the thumbnail. We're going to do Raise the Root. Pretty solid emote, 200 for this one. Yeah, I have really nothing else to say about the backup dancers.